All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make a vector bitemap text effect here in Illustrator. Step number one, add your text. And I'm gonna go with Akira. And from here, we're gonna go to the appearance panel. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select appearance. Now let's go and activate the stroke and the fill. Click on the fill. And we're gonna go to the gradient, activate the gradient. I'm gonna close it and let's go down to the effects. Go to blur and select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna go with six pixels, click OK. And let's go back to the effects, a rasterize, and we're gonna change up the background to white. Go to the color mode and change it to bitemap. The resolution, we're gonna go with other, and I'm gonna type in 17, click OK. And check this out, this is how the bitemap effect looks like. If you wanna change up the gradient, you can press the letter G, and with this handle, you can basically customize it to emphasize the letters even more. Now this effect has one single problem. This is on wide background, but in the other hand is like fully editable. So now we're gonna try out a version without any wide background, but in the other hand is non-editable. So let's select the text again, a right click on it, create outlines, and now we're gonna go to the object. Let's go to compound path and select make. Now we're gonna go to the gradient and apply gradient. And we're gonna repeat the same steps. Go to the effects, blur, Gaussian blur, click OK. As you can see, it's applying the Gaussian blur differently this time. I'm gonna rearrange the gradient a little bit also. There you go. And again, I'm gonna go to the effects, arrest arise, and we're gonna change up some settings. Instead of white, we're gonna go to transparent. We're gonna go with bitmap, 17 PPI, click OK. And now we have a version which is non-editable without any backgrounds. And that's how you make this pixelated bitemap effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.